everybody it's Sarah welcome back to my YouTube uh, crafty channel I am here today to show you all of the goodies that I received in my December kit for uh, the wild hair and I have um, waved the, the white flag and decided that um, I am not a December daily or December documented type of person as much as I try to be um, so I have decided that I'm just going to enjoy watching the creations that other people um, make throughout the month of December, focusing on um, what I can do to make my holiday crafting experience positive, which is really just do what I love to do, take these kits, take what's in my stash, and um, make make memories with them. So I'm going to show you what came in my December kit. Obviously these are uh, custom curated kits for each individual that places an order. So you will see from the design team that our kits are very different, um, especially this month. There was a lot of people that requested December type um, holiday kits and so that's what they received and I did not. <laughs> so um, I am going to be focusing this month on a on my wedding so I am getting married I'm taping this 15 days before I'm getting married and so um, a lot of the things that um, Allison included in my kit were things that I will be able to um, include in some upcoming wedding things and um, as, as I print them off so uh, let's get started so I will put the embellishments over here and I will do um, I'll start with the papers first. So we have uh, by Pebbles the fl uh, Forever My Always Love Labels. So this is a paper. I'm trying to get my lighting straightened out. We are, because of the upcoming nuptials, new things are being moved into houses and my scrapbook space is now being shared. So um, my lighting has changed to make room for board games. Um, but anyway, so here is um, the, the paper with the little labels of sweet little loveliness. And if this was too much, you could obviously, you know, fussy cut out some of these words, use them as um, little um, embellishments on cards, um, or obviously little things to tuck in and around your layout. So I love that side. The back is a beautiful pink, white, polka dot and red heart and the branding strip says you plus me equals love next from the uh page evans whimsy collection this is pay uh, whimsical sorry is page um or is paper 14 a beautiful floral i know everyone's been seeing a lot of these um in videos that people are using obviously as um, a big fussy cut uh, sheet so this is a great thing to get in your kits and um, if you're having to decide do I want more papers than I want embellishments this paper can be both so um, I know that you know uh, bloggers and youtubers talk a lot about you know stretching your um, your supplies this is a great way to do that so there is that. And the back is this lovely pink and white diagonal stripe. And the branding strip is the opposite floral. All right, next from one of my favorites. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna use this collection, but I'm going to. Oh, well, I know how I would use this collection. So this is Chamel's new Head in the Clouds. This is very storybook driven, very fairy tale. Um, so I know how I would use it, except time-wise, it's not going to work out for me. Um, we're taking an upcoming trip uh, to California to Disneyland and Universal Studios, and obviously, I have design team assignments and things that I want to scrapbook now that I need to use this paper for. So um, I am very excited because I really feel like while some of the designs on Chamel's collections are very themey, um, meaning that if you're a person like me who doesn't have a pet chameleon in their life, 
may find it difficult to add said chameleon to the page. I'm changing my mindset because I want to enjoy this process more than overthinking it. And this is where using Chamel's collections really, they just come in because they allow me just to have fun with this hobby that we all love and not overthink it and not, you know, oh my gosh, you know, the composition and rule of thirds and, you know, the clusters and matching things. Like sometimes that just becomes too much and it becomes a barrier of enjoying of enjoying this craft. So with all that said, that is my challenge is to use this collection for um, non-Disney themed or non-fairy uh, tale type, um, type layouts. So with all that said, um, this paper is called Royal Fanfare. And as you can see, these um, are a bunch of banners. Uh, rise and shine, dream come true, hear ye, hear ye, happily ever after, and then many that are blank and don't have anything written. This is a beautiful, um, like a really deep, rich, royal blue. Um, again, I'm sorry for the lighting. It will be worked out um, eventually. It's just right now temporary <laughs> because of the moving situation. So um, the back side is this beautiful um, star, very symmetrical stars, um, but they are a gradient in the rainbow colors. So starting with pinks and reds and working their way down to a true plummy, plummy purple. Really, really pretty. I like that a lot. So I'll flip it over to that page. Next from Whimsical is paper number two. This again is Paige Evans' newest collection. These look like pay, uh, paint swatches on a navy blue background. Uh, obviously these colors represent what is in the collection. So they're very rich, um, saturated colors, but not heavy. Um, really, really pretty. This yellow is reading way more yellow on my, my little screen than it is in real life. It's definitely a, a softer um, butter, but a really rich color. Um, so this is paper number two, and the back is this beautiful, it's going to be hard to see, uh, rainbow diagonal arrowy stripes. <laughs> And so there, you can see there's a little separation in some of the colors and the patterns, but they start up the reds, the oranges, greens, purples, and then repeat the pattern. Love that. Really love that side. Okay, next from the Whimsical Collection, uh, paper 18 is um, a bunch of labels and sayings and uh, cute little bits, again, that you can use as a whole sheet of paper, that you can cut apart, that you can use for scrapbooking and cards and just little bits that you can stick in your kids' lunches, um, things like that. These are really, really cute. Some of them have faux stitching um, attached to it, so it adds a little detail without having to get your sewing machine out. Uh, but this is really, really cute. So just fun, cute sayings love your laugh, love this day, beautiful, just go for it, adventures, full of heart, feeling crafty, so much fun, let's be lazy. Uh, so a real versatile uh, selection of, of things to say. And the back is this beautiful violet with little peach um, colored uh, butterflies fluttering all over. And the branding strip is uh, a bunch of the sayings from the other side. Love that. Next from Echo Park, uh, this is I Am Mom, which I am. <laughs> and uh, this is a beautiful floral. This will be very pretty, uh, even though it is a winter wedding um, that I am having. This will still be really pretty to cut out and use um, as elements throughout the my scrapbook. And then on the back is this beautiful geometric um, hexagon design with connecting lines that makes it look sometimes like a snowflake. <laughs> really pretty. This is a beautiful um, rich salmon color um, and it's a tone on tone so you get um, a nice little dimension in there. I love that. I'll flip it over like this so it's easier to see some of the patterns. 
Next we have from the Whimsical Collection, this is uh, paper number three. This is a gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous floral. Um, I love this. I love these rich colors. Um, again, this to me, while it's it can be spring, it can also be very, um, you know, autumny and um, very year roundish. Um, I love this. The, the colors that she selected in this collection I think are just beautiful. And then on the back is this rich magenta with a light um, like cross stitch mark on the back. Very gorgeous. This is this is definitely the side I'm using. <laughs> I apologize if you hear screaming. I have people playing video games downstairs. Um, in the Jen Hadfield Along the Way collection, this is Paper Flutter. This is a bunch of beautiful little butterflies and foliage. Um, again, in those rich uh, tones of, of blues and, and golds and that pop of freshness with that mint green. Really pretty. And this is an off-white you can see with, well, I don't know if you can see because of the lighting, but between the paper and the branding strip, it is definitely, I, I don't know that I would call it a cream, but it's definitely an off-white background. But it's very warm looking, which surprises me that this is what's on the back because I don't think of, well, I guess that is like a, the blue is actually like this periwinkle. Anyway, I love it. Um, this beautiful periwinkle uh, and white dot. And then I love this branding strip. It is black and white uh, florals. So that is Flutter. Do it like that. And then another, I got a lot of papers. <laughs> um, another one from Chamel's new Head in the Clouds. This is all booked up. So these are four by six cards. So if you are a pocket scrapbooker, you can use these if you are like me and use them for journaling spots or cutting out to back photos or use them as layers uh, because you know they're gonna match the collection, then this is the paper for you. Um, love, love, love the colors in this. So fresh and um, really, really pretty. Again, very unexpected. Um, and then the back. Um, are a bunch of open books. And then the branding strip is uh, the alphabet in the letters that um, are very ornate. Okay, so that is that one. Last paper, this is from Head in the Clouds, Let's Sign Up. And these are um, a bunch of little signs. Again, used as layers, used as the you know whole sheet of paper. Um, I know, you know, I, I know you hear me say this if you watch my my unboxing videos, and I, I know you hear other people saying it too. But things like this are perfect for, you know, cutting apart and and using um, to add dimension to your photos. I mean, cutting something, and these are easy shapes to cut out too. You know, I'm sure well more than you know three quarters of us have punches that are probably the size where you can you don't even have to you know hand cut them fussy cut you can use a, a punch and and uh stick a foam dot or you know some from uh the fun foam behind it and you have you know a, a dimensional embellishment so these are perfect for stuff like that um, a lot of them are blank so you could add your own either as a spot for you know a date and location or if you didn't have a lot to say enough room just to you know get some little thoughts down for what the story you're trying to share um, and then on the back is this beautiful periwinkle color that is all throughout this collection uh, with an outline of like a peach um, a butterfly and then a rainbow stripe at the bottom. All right, so these are the papers. I'm going to pull them down. And then I received in my kit from the Echo Park Mom Squad um, the 12 by 12 um, element sticker sheet. This is, I think I said it, this is the I Am Mom. And there are a lot of fun, cute little things to be added. Um, this literally looks like my minivan. <laughs> um, cute little things, little planners, lots of floral elements that you can add, mom. Um, there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. So while this can be as a whole, you look at this and think, well, you know, 
maybe I'm not a mom or, you know, I don't have a baby or something like this. Take this sticker off, put it on a card, and now you've got a baby girl card. You know, you can use these types of things outside of their, you know, intended title of, of being a mom. Um, you know, I, I don't drink coffee but somebody else in my life does. So again, you know, I, I use those things to, um, to decorate whether I'm sending a card or whether I'm doing, you know, a, a scrapbook page about somebody specifically, you can pull those things in. So don't dismiss things like this that, you know, like I said, if you said, um, thought to yourself, well, I'm not a mom, what am I gonna do with that? These are great colors um, and really uh, wonderful little pieces that you can add in and around your scrapbook pages. Okay, so now on to the embellishments, and I have fun things. So the first thing, I will not take them out because um, they'll just get all over and I'll have a hard time finding them again, but this is the I Am Mom collection from Echo Park, so just like this. Um, these are all of the ephemera die-cut cardstock pieces, so there's a lot of cute little sayings, uh, a lot of tags, lot of um, you know floral designs, frames, uh, some of the th little banners, um, some of the things say it's the little moments that will last a lifetime. I am mom. Mom life is the best life. Uh, but first coffee. There's a picture of a minivan. Um, grocery shopping, laundry basket. So really cute little things that um, will help us capture our everyday uh, memories that um, I know we as moms are all doing. <laughs> Next is the ephemera pack from Head in the Clouds. And there are 40 pieces, oh, there are 33 pieces in the Echo Park and there are 40 pieces in uh, the Chamel. And I will do the same thing, show you what is on the back. A lot of little icons, a lot of bits and pieces, word, phrases, um, a little teacup. Obviously her cameras that she's known for, uh, word every day, magic, adventures, beautiful um, butterflies, journaling spots for, you know, writing down and attaching. We've got our mermaids and our dragons, some sleeping, some reading, nope, taking a picture, unicorns, so uh, banners. So there's a lot of things in here that if you thought like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with a dragon? Um, first of all, I'm sure you can find a bunch of stuff if you really think about it and if you look on Pinterest. Um, things that, because I know, I've done it. <laughs> um, and add cute little things like this. So something um, like this, which is beautiful colors, all the pieces don't go to waste. And it looks like the some of the words in here, it sh makes it look like they're iridescent on the back, but I believe they're actually, I'm looking at it, they're really a true silver. Um, so I'm excited for these because I love Chamel. Um, next from her is the Head in the Clouds sticker book. So this is 240 stickers. It comes all bound, but I had to look. And um, so I undid the stick them. And um, this is how it is. And these are beautiful little, little stickers. Uh, I mean, some of them are really little. Like I'm looking at this little bug. You know, that's, that's a little sticker. <laughs> so these are perfect for getting in little, you know, areas and, and tucking them in and around. These are a, um, this sheet is a, uh, on a white background. So there is a white halo. These are sayings, believe in the most magical things, put the kettle on, imaginary friend, uh, yeah, imaginary friends club. I like that. Cup of tea, so literally C-U-P-P-A, cup of tea. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, little, um, little bursts of color, so not a true star, but it's little bits of color. Um, lots of little tiny, tiny stickers, lots of little florals, little mushrooms, um, adorable uh, unicorns. These are constellations that uh, look like dragons or unicorns and the beautiful regular stars and starbursts. Again, these are all on, um, these are not haloed. 
Some of them are not haloed with the white. Some of them are cut around like these clouds. When you peel them off in these hearts, they do not have a white halo around them, but the dragons and some of the butterflies do. Um, these look like little ornate frames that would hang in a gallery. Adorable. Lots of little teacups and again, more florals. I mean, there's 240 stickers in here and and what's nice is they're little. <laughs> um, Starry-eyed, uh, Dream It, Be It, these adorable little cameras. Oh my gosh, I love those. Um, Daydreamer, Night Planner. Yeah, these are nice. So yeah, know that when you get this, um, should you get it in a kit or purchase it on your own, um, that some of them are haloed and some of them are not. Um, I received from the Whimsical Collection the 72-piece enamel. Um, on, let's see, there's butterflies, hearts, dots, flowers, and stars. So they come in um, a nice minty green, a really rich dark teal, a bright yellow, a darker purple, a mauve pink, and a red. Very nice. And, oh, I have two more things. Um, gotta have my thickers. Uh, this is from the Head in the Clouds collection. I was watching a video with Shamel and she was super excited about this. It's her first time doing um, thickers in her handwriting. And so this is, they're called Fairy Tale. And she was smart enough to design um, a, a couple different uh, ways um, to do the letters. So some of them are very plain and some of them have a little flair. So each one has um, a little something something that, um, you know, like for instance, the E. There's two different E's, but you get a nice variety of, you know, of them. So these are uh, letters and numbers and a few bits of punctuation, including a hashtag, pound sign, number sign, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is really nice. I really, I like these. And they are in a um, navy blue. They are also chipboard, so um, they are not foam. And last but not least, Allison was very sweet to include this. I love it. This is my first piece from Bramble Fox, and it says, We Are Family. And um, so I am excited to add this. I have a um, daughter that I adopted when she was 18 months old from Russia as a single mama. And um, I met the man of my dreams later on in life. And so um, I'm excited that uh, we are a family and it will be official in 14 days. So um, this will definitely be a part of the scrapbook. And I am so excited to use these products to start documenting some of these stories. I thank you for spending some time with me looking at the kit that I received. This is a deluxe kit. So this is the larger of the two that... Um, wild hair offers. So if you think that like this may be a little bit overwhelming, it's not. Trust me, there's a lot of fun to be had with a deluxe kit. Um, then start off with a petite kit and it's just like it sounds. It's smaller. <laughs> smaller price point, um, but lots of fun things happening. Check out the blog. There are usually um, challenges that the design team participates in. Cut files to be shared. Um, lots of fun, cool things. Uh, lower international shipping rates for those um, of you that want to um, receive a kit but who do not live in uh, North America. So everybody, I thank you for checking in and seeing what was included in my kit, and I will see you again next time. Bye!